Welcome back everyone to the Data Communications video series. Today we're going to be diving in to closing out of the 2025 season, updates on T-Drop, and where we are headed with Edge Cloud. Before we proceed, please let us thank our Theta stakers as well as our T-Fuel stakers over on thetacommunications.com. You make this content possible. As well as make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to boost Theta-related content in the YouTube algorithm. As well as, we are very close to 1,000 subs on YouTube. Let's see if we can make that possible before the 2026 season begins. Big shout out to you all. Thank you for all the support. All right, let's head on over to X here. We have a good announcement here that tandems with the white paper from our previous episode. Uh, if you have missed uh, this AI war episode that we did, please go give that a view there. And that will give you some insight on the, uh, the Medium article that the team has put out. I'll probably link it down below as well too because it tandems well with this content. And with this, we have the governance proposal, which will be shifting 4 billion T-drop from the NFT rewards uh, and maneuvering them for staking for the Theta Edge Cloud. So we're transitioning from the old business model and continually maneuvering things forward so that T-drop can be enabled for the new endeavors that they are partaking in. And I think this is significant considering what we've spoken about over the 2025 season, the impressiveness of being able to spin up and go from a CDN based business maneuvering to building an entire marketplace, uh, becoming KYC AML compliant, and then also maneuvering then again and building out Theta Edge Cloud. Uh, these, these feats are not simple, they're not easy, especially when dealing with users. There's problems, there's challenges, it's, it's never a streamlined thing. That's why there's only uh, a handful of winners within marketplace uh, competitiveness, like the Ebays, the Amazons, right? Uh, they're, they're very hard to deal with when you have a large amount of unknown users on the other side, and you are trying to provide the, the best quality uh, for all of these users so that they can engage properly. So I think the team has shown in terms of a startup where you have the test bed with the NFTs and then growing and expanding now. They have all of that knowledge, the insight, uh, the learning curve from that to then really have the, uh, the tenor to build out the edge cloud. And they have done an amazing job in a very short period of time. I'm really excited to see how they progress forward with T-Drop integrated within. And really the success in the 2026 season is dependent upon Theta Edge Cloud creating enough velocity uh, within the business model to one, churn enough T-Drop, but also to churn enough T-Fuel uh, for the edge node providers, right? That is essential here. So if their services are providing a good enough amount of uh, cost saving and providing enough value, uh, then this is going to be a mainstay and only going to increase from here. I think one thing that I personally would like to see more from the team, and I think uh, with the T-Pulse stuff we're going to actually be able to visually see on chain, is metric tracking and dollar spend tracking of where where everything is going with the industry right we really want to see and hammer down if we're allocating resources properly i think things like rendering gaming services are going to expand here as well i think that's a super uh, uh underloved right now i think we're in the early days for that but once that comes online i think it's going to eat and need a lot of compute so the edge nodes that are being provided are going to be working uh full steam ahead and we're going to see what that looks like. So really looking for those metrics so that we can kind of proceed forward. And really with the, the video services as well still, the AI services, I think there is a solid foundation here uh, in terms of the, the consumer or the buyer of hardware uh, or the relayer can actually integrate and convey through this protocol here. So we, we have this positioning where we have payments, we have the edge nodes underlying, and now we're adding on services as we proceed here. So 
uh, the perfect storm is ahead. It's the, the growing pains of the DeFi and crypto seasons. I think everyone across the board, uh, if you look at other communities within the DPIN space, uh, are just as frustrated in terms of uh, the price of, uh, of certain assets. But I think what really, as we've said in previous, we need to look at is looking at uh, what they're building, what they've developed, and where where they've come from, right? And I think we've highlighted how much they've actually done, and in contrast with many other teams, uh, the the growth uh, from them and the development from them has been amazing to see. So very happy to uh, to be on board and looking forward to the 2026 season. Again, a big thank you to you all. You all have made all of this possible. Uh, we greatly appreciate the support, and you guys are really making this content possible so that we can keep moving things forward uh, and uh, really supporting and being good uh, community stewards for you all. All right, everyone. I hope you have found this video well. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And as always, I will see you on Tfue Island. Take care. Bye-bye.